Hi everyone, hope you are all doing really, really well. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I lost 19 kilograms. And yes, I've already done a video about this. It was how I lost 15 kilograms. So links in the description box and up here as a card. I'm just going to be expanding on what I previously said and things that I added to lose so much weight and how I kept on losing weight and how I maintained the weight. So first I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys my ultimate journey because I don't think I actually did that. So what you're seeing on the screen right now are just some photos of my transformation along with dates and how much I weighed at that point. So as a kid, I was always pretty thin and I never had a problem with my weight. I never watched my weight. And in fact, this entire journey has none of that in it. I have always loved my body throughout whatever weight I looked like. But when I started gaining weight, I was just about to finish my HSC. And for those people who don't know what HSC is, it is the final, final exams at the end of high school to determine your points. Also, does anyone want to say hi to my puppy? This is Bonnie. He is almost six years old she's the one that always barks in my videos so my journey started right before the end of my final exams when I was really stressed and I gained about two kilograms over that time after I graduated from high school and everything seemed to be going well I got into a relationship and I gained another three to five kilograms because you know when you get into a relationship and it's a honeymoon period you want to eat and you want to cuddle and that's all you want to do that's when we both got into going to the gym a lot and this was in 2014 but I only did cardio I was really shy going to the weight section but my boyfriend soon encouraged me and taught me how to do the weights and I started loving the weights just as much as I loved cardio I wouldn't be going to the gym but I would still be eating as much so I I did not lose or gain any weight for about two years so whatever weight that I put on didn't seem to budge but you know I wasn't gaining any either 2016 was when I broke my foot on the night of my 21st birthday so I couldn't walk for four months I couldn't go to the gym I was out of work I was just sitting at home bored and eating and to no avail I gained a crazy amount. So from September 2016 to February 2017, I gained that weight. And by the end of February, I was at my heaviest, being 83 kilograms. I knew that I had to do something about it. So I cut my food in half and just started going hard at the gym. I would go to the gym like crazy. And after one year from February 2017 to 2018, I lost three kilograms. I was 80 kilograms by February 2018. I wasn't sure why I lost that little because I was literally training like a crazy animal. But later on, as time tells, you find everything out and you turn things into lessons. So at around the exact same time, I got my first full-time job that would kickstart my career. And that's when everything changed. My mentality changed my way of thinking, my physical being changed, my mental, my spiritual, just absolutely everything that I thought I knew about myself completely changed. Learning to be in the real world and being an adult, which is what I'm still trying to figure out what to do a year later, um, really just completely transformed everything for me. I realized I was not doing enough um, in terms of not doing enough exercises and eating too much still and I think I was lying to myself and I wasn't self-aware and I was thinking yeah that's cool like I'm just gonna be losing weight really slowly and it's gonna be fine it's not how it works so I cut my portions down in half again I was very busy in general and I was really tired so I would drink coffee and I was just really busy all the time so I would forget to eat I would skip meals and I wasn't hungry and I was just I was happy, I was busy, I was drinking coffee, I didn't even notice and 
the weight started falling off. But looking back now, it wasn't that I cut it completely to like a tiny little amount. It was just that my portions before, when I was in a relationship, were huge. And when I cut it down, it was still a little bit over the recommended healthy amount. And when I cut it down even more, I was in a caloric deficit. I had my fitness pal that whole entire year, but for some reason I was either going over it or I wasn't stable. I didn't have any stability. It would just be going up and down every single day. What happened at my office job was I would be waking up at exactly the same time and I would be eating at the exact same time. That was one of the main things that really helped me, but the very main, main, main point was I was in a caloric deficit. Calories in, calories out. You need to be eating less than you move, essentially. Later on in the video, I'm going to be sharing you exactly what I ate and exactly what kind of portions that I was consuming, but let's just keep on going with the story. I also incorporated a lot of HIIT into my workouts because before I wouldn't do it as much. I was really really into doing weight training that entire time and what I realized for weight loss you actually have to do cardio wow big concept I did 30 minutes of hit cardio every single time I went to the gym so high intensity interval training for 30 minutes but I incorporated stuff that I actually like to do so I went on the Stairmaster every single time and that was great I would go really really fast for a minute and I'd go really really slow for another minute and then depending on my problem area I would train two days of either legs and then one day of arms or two days of arms and then one day of legs per week that is a total of three days per week of going to the gym which I know for a lot of you isn't that much so it's totally doable if you say your excuses you have work you can definitely still do three times a week and still get major huge 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 results as long as you're in a caloric deficit. I would always start my exercises out with a compound exercise. And what that does is essentially targets every single part of your body, basically. If I wanted to lose weight, I would do lower weights and higher reps, vice versa. If I wanted to tone, I would do heavier weights and lower reps. Then I would move on to the exercises that are more free weight. So if I was doing arms, I would be doing bicep curls. I, I just think that they're so much fun to do. It just doesn't make sense doing an exercise that everyone is doing and is like the top most effective thing um, when you're not having fun doing it. I would move on to weight arm machines or weighted leg machines. I love my machine. Overall, I would do 30 minutes of cardio and five to six exercises. My favorite leg or lower body exercises include deadlifts, lunges, squats. Actually, who are we kidding? I used to love squats. Now I hate doing them. I barely do them anymore, but that has been replaced with hip thrusts. Love a hip thrust and leg curls because I love that aesthetic with the hamstrings just going out a bit. Oh my God. And then some awesome arm workouts that I love are bent over rows, assisted weight dips, assisted weight pull-ups, and any arm machine workout, to be honest, and military presses. Those are Bomb. I would just have small, tiny portions three times a day. Doesn't matter if it's protein, if it's carbs, or it's fats. But I would try to do more protein during the night time, three hours before you go to bed, that kind of thing. But even then, I'm like, I don't really... I don't really think about it, I don't really care. I would have a big breakfast and then two small meals during the day with coffee breaks in the middle as snacks, as well as fruits being snacks. So what I would eat first was honey oatmeal, which hasn't changed from the previous video. But the one thing that has changed is instead of putting full cream milk, I just put in boiling water and I, I think I literally just from doing that, I lost one kilogram. Additionally, I would have like a long black now instead of putting milk in my instant coffee in the morning. Oh, I like to put um, chia seeds. I love chia seeds or flax seeds into my oatmeal every single day. Great nutrients, great vitamins. Um, and then 
when I go into work and go like to a cafe, um, I would ask for skim milk instead of full cream milk, which did a huge, huge favor for me as well. Another thing that I mentioned in my previous video was that I drank a lot of coffee to curb my appetite. And that still has been working a lot for me. I drink coffee in the morning and then when I get to work and then maybe after work three times a day, I have never not eaten something um, when my stomach is hurting. I always eat, I just eat a small portion, have coffee, and then that curbs my appetite for a couple of hours. It's just those moments of when you're bored and you just want to eat, that's when I do not eat. I don't have any snacks, I just have fruits basically. And then once I lose one kilogram or two kilograms, what I actually do is I start eating properly for about two weeks. So I start eating a little bit of what I want. So I would have a little bit of chocolate. Surprisingly, when I treat myself, when I have one meal of McDonald's, I lose a lot of weight after that because I feel like your system has been so healthy. When you confuse it, it's like, wait, what? For me, my metabolism just starts working a lot faster and I just find that I lose weight after that. I'm not going to lose weight if you're in a caloric surplus. You're not going to lose weight if you drink every single day. Until you just stop eating heaps, that's when you're going to lose weight. It's the simplest answer and it was staring me right in the face this whole entire time and I would give myself excuses when in reality I just wanted to eat and as soon as I started doing that I dropped those 19 kilograms within a year and a half and I'm still going I still need to lose three more kilograms those are my goals and then I'm gonna just be turning I'm so close to reaching my goal and I'm so proud of myself so if I can do it you can do it too and probably even faster because I like to give myself breaks a lot longer so it's really up to you you guys you just need to be truthful and not give yourself excuses and that's it if you have any other questions please let me know in the comment box down below and I'll be so happy to answer them in full detail and help you out also I'm really reachable on my Instagram DMs. I love talking to you guys over there, so I reply pretty quickly. So don't be afraid to ask me a question about this or anything else, and I will reply. And I just hope to provide as much value as I possibly can. So I hope that this did provide you with some value, and I hope I didn't miss out on anything. I feel like I wrote down my notes and my scripts, and that's honestly down to the bare bones. It's just calories in, calories out. Four words to losing almost 20 kilograms is calories in, calories out. It's as simple as that.